Hello, Pixel, and welcome back to Shadowrun Returns. Today we're going to be playing, we're going to be carrying on. We are at the Pike Place something market. I don't know. There's some su suspicious looking people here. We don't want to be looked at. Join us and change the world. We've got to talk to Patrick. We've got to talk to at least one Patrick in a game handsome young man turns away from the crowd and fixes you with his full completely undivided intention sir you are a beautiful whore but you could be so much more what are you saying what are you saying this, this, uh, that sounds great tell me more uh 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 I'll be going now what you selling <laughs> I'm not selling anything we are giving away the secrets to a more fulfilling happy and productive life Okay, I'll bite. What are the secrets to a uh, more familiar? Yeah, we'll go for it. The first step is to simply come and listen. Tomorrow night, Lynn Telstrayan will be speaking about the importance of family in the sixth world. Please join us tomorrow, and the secrets to a better life shall be revealed to you. He smiles and turns back to the crowd. Hmm. Huh. Wow. Let's go somewhere. Are you supposed to go here? Are you supposed to, can we go here? Can we talk to these people? No one to talk to. Anyone? Hello? Refurbished flowers for sale. Get your refurbished flowers. Synth juice for sale. Just fab today. Oh, hello. Paco. The kid in front of you sports sports the trade the treadmark yellow of the cutter's gang. Young, clean, shaven. He stands like he owns the street and everyone in it. He seems distracted, though glancing around with increasing agitation. He looks over as you approach. Watch yourself, truck. What you want? You wouldn't happen to be looking for Coyote, would you? Are you Paco? That's none of your friggin' business. Who the hell are you? I got three karma. I'm Sabadala. I'm looking for Kyoto. I need to ask her some questions. I'm the one who's going to pretend you have better manners. I need to find Kyoto. Relax, you're on the same team. I'm Sabadala. I was just at the uni. Your girlfriend's gone missing and I'm helping to find her. Huh. I don't know. It would be pretty cool to get a, the trust of him. But he might already know where she is. But we'll, we'll go for that one. The tough guy's swagger seems to drain out of Paco. The cutter is gone. And before you stand, stands a kid in a yellow jacket that doesn't quite fit. Coyote's missing? Oh man, that would explain. She was supposed to meet up here. Meet here. Me here over an hour ago. Wow. God, you, you lost your stuff. Look. Sorry for getting in your face like that. What else do you know? If she's missing, I need to find her. Do you know a fixer named Mr. Dalila? Mr. Dalila? Mr. Dalila. <laughs> Had a meeting with him a few days ago. Ever heard of a place called Murray's Meat Market? Coyote had a re receipt for some zebra meat from there. Yeah. I know him. Sure. Blake doesn't allow any cutters to take side gigs, though. So I got no reason to deal with him. Coyote hasn't said anything about taking new work. Wait a minute! Drek! I know where she went. Damn! Why couldn't she wait? Damn it! Paco slowed down. Where did she go? The Royal Apartments. The Landlord. Steve J. Runs a drug ring out there. Hellhole! Coyote grew up there. Doesn't like to talk about it much. She's been looking for a way to settle the score with that guy for years. A few days back, I heard Mr. Delilah was looking for a runner to steal some sort of item for out from there. Out from under Stevie Joe's, Jay's nose. She must have been taking the job. I'm sure of it. And if he, his thugs caught her, there's a grim determination in Paco's eyes. I'm going over there. 
You coming? I mean, don't worry, I won't. Well, she's only... She's my only... Let's do this before I change my mind. I hope you get Cody back, but you better have to ha handle yourself in a fight. Things might get ugly. Yeah, let's do that. Zebra meat? What? Look, that shop's just down there at the block if you want to check it out. But I'm going to the, the, to the Royal with or without your help. Who's going to be... Who's... What's it gonna be? I mean, don't worry. We'll get, we'll get it back. Damn right we will. All right, where are we going? Look for Cody in the royal apartment. Where the hell's royal apartment? Optional. So we can either go. So we can go to the meat market, which is somewhere. Is it down at, or is it up here? I think something. Lures market. We'll go to here first and then we'll, we'll go to where was it? Is that it? Is that it? No. Uh. Talk to this guy? Where is this place? I got a dog and a stick here. Wow. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? Many, 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 many. The small meat stand presents an enormous diversity of dead animals, from cow and canine to the exotic and paranormal. The pictures on the back of the stand feature a much older version of the man in front of you. Okay. As soon as he noticed Paco, the property prop, proper eyes become hard and angry. What do you want? You know we can't afford more. Relax, man. My friend just had a question. Everything cool here. Yeah! Everything's swell! Manny continues to stare daggers in Paco's direction. The name's Manny! Now what do you want? What would someone want to buy a zebra beat for? Oh, that one. Some people eat it, but I wouldn't recommend that tough as nails. We mostly sell it to corp security teams who use it to reward their hellhounds. The flock. The flamers go crazy for that stuff for some reason. Oh, Drek! That's why Coyote won in Zebra Meat. Everyone talks about the Hellhounds. Stevie J keeps locked up somewhere in the Royal. And if she never picked it up. What a. What a. Anything else? Do you know someone named Coyote? Nope. I don't go in much with that shaman stuff. I have this receipt for it. Still have it for me. I'll look it up. Yeah, I got it right here. Two days past the pickup time. Didn't think anyone was going to come here for for it. Here, it's all yours. What's your problem with Paco? Why don't you ask him? Why the hell? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means that your gang likes to stroll through here and relieve us merchants of our newins. My dad stood up to them, and he's still in the hospital. Look, that's not my problem. I'm at the bottom of the cutoff ranks now, anyway. I can do Drek about that, even if I want. Is Drek like shit? I can do shit. I can do fuck all. Is that, is that what they're trying to do? They're trying to say that Drek is a swear word in these days. Nice. Tell that to my dad. I don't have time for this. We need to find Cody. You alright? We... Uh, okay, fine. We'll just go. Screw that shit. Where's the fucking royal apartment? I want to know. Oh. Okay, I know. I know. Oh, it's, fine. it's fine. It's fine. Fine by me. So we got the meat. So when we get to the uh, royal apartment, we can, like... Oh, shit. As you has just as a flashing light, she spot the body of a woman dead on the pavement behind the police land. Panic spreads across Paddock Paco's face. Oh, Oh, hell no! It's supposed, to say, it's supposed to say hell no. It's gotta say hell, and then no. If it, if, you know. Is that Kyrie? This isn't happening! God damn it! Please, up together. Take a look. Is that her? Pack a breathe. I'll take it. That one. Pack a steps forward and breathes a huge sigh of relief. No! No, it's not her. Thank God. Look, let's not hang around here too long, alright? Too many Lone Star Pigs around here. Paco looks over at the victim again. It's too bad. Whatever happened to it, 
happened here, I'm not going in. Let anything like this happen to Coyote. Alright, let's talk to Officer Landers. A tall, emotionless, lone star officer blocks entry to the crime scene behind her. You spot the lively face of the Olga Riders cor coroner dressed in oh, it's fucking that guy. I hate that dick. This this is an active Lone Star investigation. Please step away from the barrier. What happened here, officer? I'm here to see Karna Dresden. Oh. Oh, hello. And who map you be? It's alright, officer. He's with me. Dresden steps to up. That was a good idea from me. The officer looks at you with poorly concealed skepticism. Okay, then. Make it quick. Uh, lying on the pavement is the body of a young human female. Her eyes have been gooed, gouged cleanly out, and oh, for fuck's sake. Let's talk to Dresden. So what brings you out here? Hot on the trail of the dead man's killer? Coincident, believe it or not. I like it. I stumbled across another river murder. Hardly she another bit. Yeah, that's what it looks like. As you can see, the ripper went for the eyes this time. Oh wait, he's not. He's not there. Pretty clean though. I gotta hand it to him. Our ripper knows what he's doing, or or she, I suppose. What do you know about the victim? Can you tell that she has subdued in some way before her eyes were removed? I thought you ran the Red Moon franchise. Isn't Pike faced a little far from home? What about the bite marks on her arm? Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> completely unrelated. It appears some wild dogs dragged the body out here from the alley sometime after their death. What do you know about the victim? Well, not well, not much. Just in Scotty's head, abs, 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 absentmindedly, probably breaking some sort of sanitation protocol. <laughs> She's been dead for about three year, three hours, not three years. Her name is Lucy, Lucy Warden. Worked at the Stuffer Shack just around the corner. Looked like she was just leaving work when it happened. Anytime she had something, you know, I can't be fucked. That's the strange thing. They did it, they struggled. I was seeing a bruise on her body, yet she was clearly dying. I thought you were running uh, in pain, but barely isn't. Yeah, well, I didn't really mind the change of scenery. The corner for the downtown branches out on Madison Brunetti. So I told management that I cover for her on this one. I want this tickle. Cut! It's not a magic. It's a. Uh, now that's an interesting start. No. Nothing obvious though. I'm sure that Miss Miklowski shows up. He'll call in the full. Blah, blah, blah. So the Ripper takes Sam Watt's liver and this woman's eyes. Any theories? Trophies of sort, I suppose. Probably some of symbolic significance to the killer. Beyond that, couldn't speculate. That's enough question. Thanks, Reston. Yeah, fuck you. Officer Aguire. The plane closed Lone Star Officer before you sports a tracky hat and a crooked grin to match. So you're the one who's. So you're the one working for the dead man, eh? Miklowski warned us. You might be sniffing around after the Ripper. Look, few, I got here before before McCloskey. I'm Officer McGuire. Pleased to meet you. Now, seeing as the crime scene is going nowhere fast, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? What can you tell me about the uh, place here? Not really much. I uh, know it's three hours. It was like just like, oh my god, there's so much fucking text. You have been scanning the rest of the scene and. But no longer it's down. Ripper might as well be a ghost. I take it you and Mikulski don't exactly see eye to eye. Let's just say Mikulski and I have conflicted interests. Do you have any, any needs? Ha, huh, plenty. If you ask Mikulski, but the truth is we're as clueless as you. Thanks for nothing, you twat. Hey, hold on a minute there. You haven't put in the donation for the Lonely Orphans. The Lonely Orphans Fund? Yeah, see, you'll make a contribution to the fund, and I'll put you in a list and let you know the next time we find any orphans that you might be interested in. 
I see you want to brab. Well, I'm always interested in finding out about any new authors you discover. You've lost me. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you've lost me. He sighs. Look, you pay me off. I slip you any new information we get on the roof. Gates, get it? 1,000 new one? I'll give you 1,000 new more. Deal. Give us the new one. And look, if I'm going to stick my neck out, the car has got to be juicy enough. It's 100 to nothing. Deal. Uh, we can have a shot. You're lost then. Fuck you. I will shot your face in the twat. Can I talk to him again? No. Let's talk to this guy. Elf! The elf standing for you might quite possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. He's made tarculously clean lab coat, former at jacket, and old fashioned bow tie. Give him the look of an undertaker from centuries past. He now see your approach and locks eyes with you, smiling. A thin, unnerving smile. Hello there, stranger. Might I inquire, do you know which organ grinder facility this body will be removed to? Who's asking? The elf giggles, a strange high-pitched warble you would not expect to emerge from his mishap and face. Oh, I'm no one of consequences. <laughs> Never mind, though. A good evening to you and your friend, the coroner. Well, she, what a dick. What a dick. Can I can I get out of here? Is there a way to get out? No. Oh, some Dresden has something to tell us, talk to us about. I need something a little bit. Did you know it's really ugly? Star elf star in a little car. Huh? Where? Dresden scans the. Spectators surrounding the camp. He's gone now. Interesting. Well, they still be interested in purchasing some of our parts. Sure, but that's pretty poor from form to inquire at the sight of a murderer. An ugly elf, eh? I'll keep my eye out. Shouldn't be hard to spot if he comes back around. That's enough, guys. Tag dressed and any time, my good friend. Any time, my good friend. Uh, anything over here? Want to buy some BTL? What the fuck's BTL, mate? Glad yeah, there's no trolls around here. Well, yeah. Wonder if you were if you're a troll and you could like say to them, "You fucking troll!" Oh shit, it's a troll. Hey guys, do you have any extra new ones? Just need some super zoom from over the, from the shack over there. No way, big brain. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a fiver. Thanks, chummer! Let's enter the Royale.